I'm unwell. The sun has sort of risen and we are headed out the door. Sugar is sweet, and the world does a sleep when you fall in a fire. And once in a while, Prince Charming don't smile. In fact, he won't show up at all. So you and I should be human beings and not just people. Okay, so this is actually like hilarious for me to watch back because this is my first ever two foot that I did and they were so nice. Like the course builders were amazing and they made this absolutely like minuscule because this is this is the first horse show series of the year. So obviously these two foots were like baby, baby, baby two foots. Um and I was like, okay, this is the easiest thing in the world. But I mean, ideally, that was like what they wanted it to be. So coming through this turn, my amazing horse trips because that's just his aesthetic. He does that all the time and it makes me real angry because it terrifies me. But you know what? Horses will be horses. They all have their weird little things. But recovered nicely, went over those yellow flowers, which were actually pretty bright. So props to him for just going straight through it. I didn't feel like he was really hesitating at all towards any of these jumps. Again, probably because they were tiny, but you know, that's, that's fine. So coming through this turn, I did not see a stride, but it was fine because we just took a little bit of a long one and I love a long stride. So was happy about that. Okay. This line rode so slow. I did not I did not prepare at all because I did not expect it to be that slow, but you know what? Good first ever two foot round, was happy with that. Here, apparently we just took him in to pick up Canner because, I don't know, he was tired or something. <laughs> this was like a month ago, so I, like, I'm sorry guys, I do not remember what we did. Oh yeah, I do remember now, I remember now. So we had to go around to this, to this single first, but it was an angle. I hate angles as first jumps. Like probably my least favorite type of first jump. I would rather just go into a line or anything. I just don't like angles, but went down this line. And again, these lines to do the ad on a 17 hand horse is not, not the most fun, but lead change was good. I feel like at this point, this is like a month ago, like I said. So things have changed a little bit, but I was really pulling for my lead changes, which I didn't need to do. Like, I just need to use my outside leg, but obviously we work on that. We fix these things over time. So coming into this line, I was not very straight. As you could see, for some reason I jumped the wall and he actually like had to do one of those tiny, tiny baby steps to get through it. But he did, obviously. It was really good this time, I remember to circle. The first video, I cut it out, but I did not remember to circle. So, you know, there's that. Uh, apparently for this one, we had to like really, really trot out to the back, which I thought was kind of weird, but I just did it because I wanted to ensure the lead. I hate doing trot to canners. I'd rather do walk to canners. So just went to the back to make sure I got the right lead. Okay, this turn was pretty good. It was a little bit weird because it was on the quarter line. Again, there I am pulling for the lead change. Ignore that, guys. I would like to say that I'm better. And this is my classic one. You see this in all my videos, that jump. I love that jump. It was just a sleigh. Okay, and then that bending line. Oh my gosh, I love that bending line. It was just like perfection. So that was really good. Okay, nice jump there. We landed on the wrong lead, which is Oh, and then we had a late change, which obviously, okay, I don't know why I keep saying obviously. Yeah, you just don't want a late change there, but we fixed it. He was good. He let me change it. 
coming down this line again this line was so tight but we did it i just didn't want to like literally have to gas it through the corners to make it on the four but i think it would have been a better four now looking back but for what i was doing this was nice so here comes my least fair part of the day, which is flat class. I hate the flat classes after jumping because once jumping's done, I'm just like, I want to go home. I don't want to do flat. And you can see here that I'm just like very handsy, which I don't, I don't need to be that handsy with him. But you know, you live, you learn. And I was just really nervous. And oh, my lower leg. Oh gosh. Okay, sorry. That that was making me sad. Uh, good transition there. I liked that one. Obviously, it's... Oh, I keep saying obviously. Okay. It's gotten better. My transitions have gotten better, but that was a good one for last... Or it was actually two months ago now, I think. Yeah, it was. So that was a pretty good one. That was one of my best at that time. There was fine. Try Again, I just feel like I'm... Be, I'm riding defensively and I don't need to like I need to just lengthen my reins and let him go This is more just that was just more like a fear response from me, but it, it was fine. I was Good there. I feel like my seat was really good this day I was actually sitting canner which I had struggled so much to sit on him because he's just so bouncy I don't know if you can tell through here, but he really is I swear to you he is so that was really you know, I'll win. Sorry, guy, I didn't get more content this morning, guys. Harley was so good. I'm so happy with that. That was really, really fun. Um, I believe I got first in my equitation over fences, and then my classic, I got third, which I'm actually really happy about because the classic was hard. But yeah, I'm just turning him out real quick so you can enjoy the rest of the day outside. But yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I thought that was so fun, and he's such a good boy. He's begging for tricks right now. Don't you wanna go outside?